So Monique was on Tamar Braxton's podcast called Tamar Under Construction. And I have to say, Tamar is doing really well with her podcast. Congratulations to her. And Monique was talking about why she calls her husband Sidney Hicks daddy. She basically said, see, there ain't nobody else in a room. And he's had to say some things to me, Tamar. That has taken me to my knees. And then he'll pick me back up and he'll say, is anything I'm saying to you not true? And I'll say everything you're saying to me is true. But right now, N word, my ego, I need you to walk away because the crazy bee inside of me, she getting ready to say something and mess up the moment. I know she's coming. Here she comes. She's getting ready to come out the basement. And then he loved us all through it. He loved all of us through it. And in my wholehearted opinion, I don't understand. Well, I mean, I... According to Amanda Seals, like relationships between um, an African American man and an African American woman, the um, the popularity of bad dynamics between the two comes through history of 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 being enslaved, of of the man being away from the woman, and of the rep- repercussions the woman had to face if a black man stayed in the home with his wife. Now, I don't know if that's entirely true. I don't know if it's true um, because. Often, and it's it's mainstream that an African American man can't keep an African American woman. But when we talk about African men or African women, when we talk about Nigerians um, or other areas of Africa, we really don't see these type of sayings or these type of innuendos or relationships that goes on because these. Um, You know, the African culture, you know, they have a traditional type of culture. Um, And one that I can speak of is the Muslim culture, Um, the Muslim religion and how that culture is um, glued into our relationship. That really that really isn't mainstream or really isn't like really doesn't need an explanation of why it is highfalutin to keep somebody in a relationship. I just, to me, I find it annoying. I find it stupid and annoying that we always have to hear a black woman explain her successful relationship to her black boyfriend or her black husband. I don't know about y'all, but I just find it crazy and I find it annoying. It's just as if, as if black people can't have a successful relationship. I don't know. I just... I find it annoying when we see the Jay-Z and the Beyonce and people just type in black love as if black people can't have a successful relationship. And I know I may get comments saying, well, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, well, I guess I don't. I guess this is just it's coming from um, the history of women being taken away from their men um, by slave masters or women having to face repercussions of being with their husband during those times um and not receiving or being threatened to not be able to care for their kids so i mean i just think in 2021 closely to 2021 that i find it really odd that we're celebrating something that shouldn't be celebrated if that makes sense like I mean, I like to see love in all forms, but it just I just find it annoying that, you know, it's always a celebration with 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 black people, specifically black celebrities or just black people in general, general mainstream wise when their relationship is quote unquote successful. I don't know. <laughs> that's just that's just how I feel. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please do subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah.